What the poem is about, it's of a guy like, he's like, got to do a project. And a project is about like uh, his surrounding, his nature, his people, his, his everything. So I went in telling a story about a person, a person living his life, the type of person he is, going into telling another story. So it's a story within a story. So the story within the story is actually of like, it's like a graphic novel type feel, got a lot of like exaggerated themes like when I say calligraphatic fashion I'm speaking of like samurai swords but the samurai sword is actually like a pen ink written with words instead of actual action so it's all like a comic strip so I'm an artist so I write in a way that I can portray visually so anything that will look nice visually I put it in the words so a lot of my lyrics are very animated <laughs> How I got started in writing poetry, um, I went to all creative and performing arts, high schools, middle schools, elementary. So I've been in writing training for a long time, but also I have like a lot of creative family members that put me on to like a lot of different views on ways to express yourself. When you grow up in a place that's not so blue collared, nice, you gotta let your emotions out in another outlet that will keep you out of the bad situations. So writing, and visual arts was a good outlet to express a lot of things that I was going through. So if it's really hectic, get more vivid with your descriptions. That's why I, I really can't, I really can't make much like party fun music because I've been so trained to be so detailed and so vivid that I can't have step. <laughs> All right, let's go through the, the vivid, like, journal of names that I went through. Uh, before Nav Keen, I went from Buddha. Buddha stems from an older name, Buddha, stemming from an older name, Dutch, stemming from an older name, a lot of older names. But it's just family names that came into it being Nav. Once you grow into the person that you've grown into, you create your own name create your own name of what the path you chose is to take. So NAV came from uh, a business that I started uh, entitled New Airy Field. New Airy Field, the word airy means free of shape or form. So it's a new field that you can't quite categorize, can't quite put here or there. So that's what I feel my type of music captures. It's like got an old school feel, but it's not, it's relevant to today. And it's kind of jazzy, but it's kind of like popish. So can't quite put it here or there. That's why it's a new area fail. So I go from Nav and then my original last name is King. So put it together, Nav King. And I like it. <laughs> what I want people to take away from my music, from my poetry, from my art, is just my story. So it's just like when you go to the library, you pick a book that might capture your attention or if you want to know about something, you listen to it. So I want them to feel what I went through, feel the experience that I just, just feel me. So I usually put my music on Bandcamp. You don't have to pay anything to download it, listen to it. You just got to pay attention. So that's the motto I go for. Don't pay for my music, just pay attention. So with that, I like it. <laughs> Well, yes, you can find me on all types of different like social networks. Facebook, you just type in my name, Nav King. On Twitter, you can follow me at Original Nav backslash Twitter. Next, the website that I put my music for free on that you can go find, that you can go read like bios and see all of the events that I've been part of is navking.bandcamp.com. That's where you should go. That's where you should listen. <laughs>